You see it. Let's get it. Alright guys, so I got you guys on head mount so you guys gonna see exactly what I see. So here we're gonna unbox a couple of things and uh <clears throat> I'm gonna go through a couple of things with you guys so you can see exactly what's going on. Alright, so I ended up buying this here for the steering column to go through the firewall so we can have a smooth transition and a water seal tight. Before I didn't have that, which you will see here when I put it, when I put it on, that you will see that uh, that is not what was the case was. Uh, so we're gonna put that on. We're gonna put this on, put this on, and put this on all in the same video. That there, I'm gonna get to it in a minute. All right, so let's pop these open here. I've been done and waiting to see what these things here look like. I know what they're supposed to look like, but. So, the reason I got these was because, and I got them in all black, so to go with everything, so it won't be an issue there. Let's pull that, I'm just trying to get that off there. These are ceramic. Yeah, to keep, keep them from burning up, you know, burning up anything, so, you know, that right there is self-explanatory, you know. These are nice. Man, they cost enough, you know, but these shits here are nice. Yeah, we're gonna get all that on here. Here, give me, give me the, let me get this here. Let me cut these open. You guys know what these is. I mean, the drop shocks that I needed for my, uh, for the whole truck. Oh God, are we serious right now? Here we go. I guess so. I guess we are too. So, the Build Tech Nitro Drop Twos. Let's see what we got here. Ah, uh, these are the rear, the rear shocks. So right now they're fully extended. Which okay, all right. Which gonna make them shorter than what it is right now? Cause these here. That's on here, they're not fully extended, but they are compressed all the way down to where they are. And those can ex uh, compress all the way down and these are fully extended. So we're gonna get a good wrap with these. Yes, sir. That's gonna, drop, that's gonna lower the truck a little more, which is great. But let's see here. Okay, let me take a look at these because Okay, these are the damn rear ones right here. Those were the front. These are the rear. Let's see what we got. Okay. We should be good. Oh, it goes down to that. Okay. All right. At least those go down lower than what those do. Yep. Because these right here, right now, are compressed all the way in. So, we'll be good. Yep, these will work. There's no need in me opening anything else on that one. But, what I really wanna get to is, I'm gonna have to sit down for this one. Because, uh, maybe get my phone here out the way, here. Cause I like to see what y'all looking at. Make sure y'all can see what I see. This right here is for, it's Terminator X for the Ford Fox Body Mustang. Yep. We are going Terminator X. Y'all slide on out the way. The reason why I'm, I'm going to Terminator X is because of the fact that, uh, let me walk over here right quick and show y'all right quick. <clears throat> if y'all can see that right there, there's a broken wire right there. I don't know where it goes to. Let me see if y'all can see that. That broken wire. Can you see this broken wire right here? 
you know, and uh, because so for some reason, I have no idea why it's broke or how it got broke, but it's broke. I can't plug, if I plug this in to the IAC, it cuts off immediately. So I am going to, the easiest way I figured I can rewire this whole engine, get all new, new wires in here is to go Terminator X. And Terminator X came, they usually was running for, running for the, uh, had it set up for where the Terminator X was for a 5.3 motor or 6.0 motor, GM motor to go into a Fox body. That's mostly when people are using the Terminator X. Now Terminator X has come out with a system just for the 5.0 motor or for the Coyote motor. And I believe they also came out with something for the Mopar motors, you know, so let's go through this system and see what we got. I opened it up before cause I wanted to read through some stuff and I still need to read through some more stuff. So off the rip, let's see here. You know, I put it back in here kind of crappy. Let's get this here out the way, go back through there. This here is gonna be the little computer screen that we set everything up with. And if, for those that don't know, the Terminator X is a system that self-tunes. <clears throat> All you gotta do is follow the directions on how to get everything set up and everything else will, will be good to go. This here is for like your, the, um, oh God. <sighs> Okay, this is for the injectors. Oh, we got some stuff there that we're going to have to read up on. Got your relays in there. Yeah, I got to do some more reading, but I'm quite sure I'm going to be able to do this system without a problem. This here is for the uh, distributor. This one wire would be the distributor wire, which will turn around and plug into the engine which I might have set up and find. I don't know what this here is for yet, but I will figure it out. What do it say? Eh, it don't say, but I will get, I will read it and find out. Here's my inject injectors. See, one for one side, one for the other. And we'll have to orientate it to what side goes to what. Okay, see, I already got it on there. Cylinder four, cylinder three. Cylinder, cylinder two and cylinder one. Five, six, seven, and eight. Okay. That's self explanatory right there. This here, you have to use this with the system. Only thing I'm going to do is unplug one of my uh, O2 sensors and, and plug this one right in and plug it in. This system has runs off of the O2 system. And this here is my battery connect. So, got his own fuse, his own connection, and we run it straight to the battery. Man, this gonna be, this gonna be a good deal here, man. I'm telling you. I am not gonna be able to find nothing else better than this, man. You're not gonna find nothing else better. <clears throat> nope. <clears throat> These here is an option to uh, run different uh, outputs, uh, extra stuff you wanna add in to run off, off the system. <clears throat> you know, I might run, uh, I might use this to run my uh, external gauges that I have in the car that I got on the A pillar. That's what I might use this for and still run my gauges through and still runs be able to see the system digitally through here so you know this system is gonna be the bomb uh here go your other two sensors that's actually needed one is a temp i believe and the other is maybe oil temperature gauge you know uh temp sensor but i will know exactly what it is when uh when I go to read through the book and uh, figure it all out. It's not gonna be hard. It is not going to be hard at all. Here goes a pen to uh, use with the uh, 
with the computer screen right there. And um, I think I'm gonna have fun with this one, but it's gonna be a little work to do it because we're gonna have to take everything out of, out of the out of the vehicle and put this stuff back in. And I think my hard part is gonna be getting this stuff out of the vehicle. This here is a bracket that's strictly, strictly for the Fox body that tied in, I mean, to bolt up under the uh, seat. But I don't have regular seat brackets, so I gotta take a, a deeper look into this right here to uh, figure it out. I'm thinking I might put it behind the seat uh, since this is McLaren, I might put this here behind the seat up on the little back panel that it got right there so I can see see uh, for the computer. Now actually, well, well you know, when, once you take all that whole system out, there's no brain. But, how the fuck you open this? What the fuck? Okay, I guess it's right here then. If it ain't, it is. Shit. Oh, oh, here we go. Come on, man, what the? I'll be just tearing these boxes up, then they figure out how to. Are you fucking serious? Okay, whatever, dude. Whatever. Whatever. Okay. This is it right here, man. This here is the whole kit and caboodle. This here, I gotta. can't think of right off what this is, but I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to plug this up. But, like I said, we'll figure it out. You know, right here is lights that light up and it'll tell you what's good and what's not. Again, we'll read through the through the uh, system. I mean, through the, uh, through the directions and find out what it is. And this thing goes on just like that, right there. And, I mean... I think I'm gonna do my own thing, how, how I want this put on. I think I'm gonna do some modifications here. <laughs> I do believe that's what I'm gonna do. And I want it to where all I gotta do is look behind the seat and I'll be able to see these lights, make sure everything is good to go. That's what I want. Yeah, yep. We're gonna do some modding, I mean, that's bad, man, when I, when you get some stuff, you just can't leave it alone. You just gotta keep fucking with stuff. And that's me. I gotta keep fucking with it till I get it the way I want it. And some things I know I be doing wrong, got it. But uh, I'll figure it out. I will figure it out. I mean, and one thing about this stuff, man, you can't be scared to mess with it. If you're scared to mess with it, then this is not for you. <clears throat> Okay, now, let's look at these directions. Okay, so this is the Holly FI for TFI distributor. See, I'm not using this, so this one here is obsolete. That's not the one I need, that's a different shit. So, here's the, the um, Mustang, see, it's from 79 and 93 Ford Mustang EFI harness kit. Main harness only. So it comes with the main harness, it comes with the uh, power harness, it comes with the injector harness, and it comes with the TFI harness. I got all those harnesses. And see, this thing gives you step by step, gonna give you step by step directions on what you need to do. But I need to read through this thing some more. And uh, then we'll go through it and do what we need to do. Well, I mean, this here, I mean, it's just gonna be fun putting this stuff in. See, okay, so that right there is one of the sensors. Got a coolant sensor and a uh, manifold air temperature sensor. Those were the two sensors that I had got. Okay, yeah, so this here gonna turn into a map sensor. That's what that blue, uh, that blue uh, tube was be a map right now that's not running on a map I changed it because I put in the, uh, the mass air which 
didn't kind of work out, but I don't care. We'll figure it out, man. We'll figure it out. I couldn't, well, I couldn't figure it out when I, why? Because I thought that once you unplug your mass air plug, everything was supposed to cut, uh, was supposed to go that cut off, but no, it, it did not do that. Okay. See right here it says retaining OE gauges. So they got it all set up to where you can retain your gauges. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to use some of this here and plumb it into my gauges on the side. So I'm going to have those gauges. See, this here gives you step-by-step -step of what you need. I'm going to read through that some more. This here is another kit. I mean, another uh, directionals. Wow, why did I say directionals? Directions. See, this one here is me right here. What the hell was that? Uh, thing fell off. I'm trying to keep my my daughter plates from being seen. She gets mad every time her plates are in my video. And I'm tired of arguing about it, so we'll take care of it. As y'all can see, color directions. Can't be color directions, man, so you can clearly see what's going on, because I have an eye problem. And when those, those down, the writing is little, yep, that'd be issues. See, transmission harness, I don't need none of that. We can skip that, I don't need that. I don't even need it for the Ford transmission because my, that's for the automatic. And the yeah, for all automatics. So, I don't even, I don't think I even have that. If I do have that one in there, I'll set it to the side. Cause you know, one day I might use it. Now, this here, is how, over here, is how you set the system up. This explains to you everything you need to know on how to set the system up. And step-by-step -step instructions on how to set the system up. And then, from my understanding from things I've did my research on, once the car get up to 160 temp, that's when the system starts learning. Starts, it starts, see that? Page 25, self-tuning. It'll do everything on its own and get the, the vehicle running at top performance. Yep, we're gonna go through this whole thing. Look at all these instructions, man. You can't, I mean, whatever you need, whatever your vehicle type is, even though this is for a uh, strictly for a Ford, as I look at this, some of this stuff got a got GM in it, but that's okay because uh, I can keep these uh, these instructions and look back on it. See, like this is the Ford one right here. How to set up a tech if you want to for the Ford. <laughs> yep. This is good shit right here, man. Look at this, if you want MSD in there, they show you how to set it up with the MSD. Yep. Shit, it's said they, man, you can't go wrong here, man. This over here is for GM. I mean, they got it all set up for you. Got it all set up for you. You cannot go wrong here. Well, <laughs> you shouldn't go wrong. I mean, but you know, we'll figure it out, man. So I don't went through all that stuff right there. So stand by right quick. All right. So as y'all can see, we got this gas tank here. Let me put that up there. And 
with the gas tank. I added in right here. Well, I put in these things right here to, to hold the gas tank, which I didn't have before. I figured I was gonna sit it right here on the frames and uh, it would it have been good, but nope, that's not the case. Then it'll be flopping up and down right now. It don't move whatsoever. See that, I can't even move it. So I added in these, right, this right here as a, as a precaution, so it don't be metal on metal right here, all around it. It's not even touching on the sides at all, so didn't need it on the sides. I added in, if I'm hoping you guys can see that right there. Let me get up under here. This right here, all this here crap here, I, I gotta sand down, which I'm gonna sand down and damn paint it. But I'm gonna do all this right here, get all this done here before I add those shocks. I wanna paint those control arms and all that stuff. And this frame, we'll do that before we even get to doing, uh, before I even move on. That's gotta be done first before I can push my wires back here for my fuel, for my uh, gas tank and my um, tail lights. What I did here, oh, and as y'all can see, I got this hit my uh, core vent cover. I'm gonna smooth this back out, prime it, and then get ready for, uh, for whenever I get ready to paint it. <clears throat> I gotta figure out my exhaust. Yep, I know, I'm doing the damn exhaust again. I got it, I got it. But I had to redo everything. I mean, I had to redo everything. Once I put these in here, the, ex the exhaust was in the way, so I had to redo that. Um, <clears throat> but I st I'm still gonna use the exhaust. I thought I was gonna be able to go to the ass end, but I can't do it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go out to the side and I gotta figure out if I'm gonna buy some uh, other uh, ex uh, mufflers. I'm thinking about buying some different mufflers, but I will see here shortly. Okay, I still got this door to do. All this body work is gonna be done once I complete this back here. And I'm gonna do that hood, put that hood on there, but we'll get to that here shortly. All right, so now, I went on and added in this. I redid this here. I'm gonna smooth that down. I'm gonna smooth this down. All this gonna be under under cover anyway, so under carpet, so it won't make a difference no way. But I went on and put that in there, man. I figure, why not? It looks better. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna well, I'm gonna get on the other side. I'm gonna show y'all. But I'm gonna use those buttons. Put those buttons to use for something. I don't know what it is yet, but it's gonna be for something. All right, so we got everything back in. The only thing that I really need to do up here is I need to do, put these on. Um, I done tighten up everything. I just need to get it to where I still gotta re-plumb the brakes. And um, once I do that, then we're gonna be in business. Um, I plan on having this done before Christmas. I'm, I'm trying to get this stuff done here shortly because I might be going through another surgery uh, for my knee. And that's gonna happen either before Christmas or right after Christmas. So right at the beginning of the new year, so. I gotta figure that one out, but that's no biggie. If that happens, it happens, you know. So here, I started working on the wires. I already got them squared away already to go to the back. I just have to do that back part back there so that we can, uh, so that that uh, once I put it in there, I don't have to worry about doing nothing. I ain't gotta do nothing else. Here go this thing I was telling you about, this, this shifter with those buttons on there. It's look, man, to be honest with you, man, it look kind of sweet. If And if I can get, I've been talking to Steve Davis about trying to get, to make me a console, but he, he said he couldn't do it just yet due to the fact that he don't have this body style of vehicle in his arsenal of vehicles. So he's going to uh, 
once he do come up upon one, and if he can do it, uh, uh, do one for me, then he'll do it. And if not, if he take too long, then you know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make me my own deal. But I mean, once I get my seats in here, then uh, I'll figure it out. You know, like I always do. You know how I get down, folks. You know how I get down. Uh, let's see here. So, yeah. And I think that's it, man. Just a little snap through of what's been going on, what I've been doing since you guys, well, since I hadn't, I just wanted to show you guys a full update of everything. And uh, I can't wait to get to them, putting them new sparkies in there man can you see how this is right here even though this this metal metal cover has come up to right it came up right to the exhaust but then the rest of it is sitting on the exhaust you know so to me that's not a good a good protector and if you see like that this here comes right off to the exhaust so you know it's only like one on this side one on the other side that's really an issue but we're gonna cut we're gonna take care of all of them we're gonna take care of all of them i gotta figure out i think i'm gonna cut this bracket down too so i can turn this down just a little bit um if i have any hood clearance issues and i think i might but we're gonna take care of it as always as always i done fixed i don't no, not fixed but i done Redid all my grounds. Everything is good there. And we just a little bit from firing this thing up. But also, I don't like these here. These type of connections. So I'm I'm trying to figure out what I might have to go to junk out, see if I can find me some different uh, connectors. And which in turn would be different spark, I mean, different uh, injectors, which is, well, I didn't say it, but that's the injector connection. So if I get uh, a different connection, then that means I'm gonna have to go with different injectors. Yeah, but I mean, all that's okay. That's stuff that's still just down the line, which I gotta figure out. And I wanna figure out how I can keep this in there too. So I'll get that covered figured out too as well yep sure will and now i'm looking at it i think i done figured it out but we'll go through it we'll go through it all right y'all so uh i'll call it a day on this one um like i said my next video is going to be about uh, my spark plug ch changing out spark plug wires these um uh, damn uh, shocks and putting on that uh, putting this on which I didn't show y'all but let me, let me go ahead and show y'all real quick the, to be honest with you this is not for this here but it's gonna fit this here you see that right there that opening yes we this here is gonna cover all that this here is straight strictly for that gonna fit we're gonna make it work yes sir i am going to make that thing work so with that being said like comment subscribe and i'm gonna catch y'all on the next one yes sir peace out